Today, we're going to explore the fascinating world of bats. Not as villains from stories, but as vital, intelligent creatures with real scientific value. As we move through this non-fiction article, we won't just build vocabulary. We'll look closely at how structure, facts, and word choice help us challenge common misconceptions and deepen our understanding of animals that are often misunderstood. We'll learn precise terms such as echolocation, guano, and ecological value, and we'll connect those ideas to real-world science, farming, and conservation. Although our focus is on the Mexican free-tailed bat, some images in the video will show different species for illustrative purposes. This is done in order to give you a picture of the distinct variations that exist. As always, you can find the complete passage linked in the description below. It includes five multiple choice questions that test your critical thinking, and a section where you can write a brief summary. Finally, you can hold down your left control button on your keyboard and use your mouse wheel or trackpad to alter the size of the text so that it is more comfortable for your eyes. Before we break down each paragraph within the passage, we'll look at some important vocabulary. These words help you unlock the meaning of the text. Learning vocabulary in context like this improves not just your reading, but also your writing and speaking skills. The more you understand the words, the more clearly you'll understand the deeper messages in the passage. What seems ordinary at first glance can turn out to be something extraordinary. In the dry deserts of New Mexico, a cowboy's confusion sparked one of the most famous introductions to the hidden world of bats. What seemed like smoke was actually something much more alive and far more important than anyone realized. Now, let's take a look at the vocabulary for this paragraph. Feel free to pause the video now to allow you the time to preview the language used. Now that we've looked at some of the vocabulary we may need for the paragraph, let's read it together. In the late 1800s, a cowboy named Jim White was riding near Carlsbad, New Mexico, when he saw what looked like plumes of smoke rising from the desert. But this turned out to be a misconception. As he got closer, he realized it wasn't smoke. It was a huge cloud of bats flying out of a capacious cave. That cave would later become known as Carlsbad Caverns and Jim's discovery marked a pivotal moment. The caverns had been known to some Paleo-Indians, but now scientists and tourists would begin to explore them. At sunset, skies across the southwest fill with wings. Though their movements may look chaotic, Bats rely on a hidden system more precise than sight. Nature has given them a tool so advanced, scientists have studied it for decades. Now let's take a look at the vocabulary for this paragraph. Feel free to pause the video now to allow you the time to preview the language used. Now that we have reviewed the vocabulary we may need for the paragraph, let's begin. 
Let's learn more about Carlsbad Caverns and how bats navigate their surroundings. Today, Carlsbad Caverns is considered a national landmark and attracts visitors from all over the world. From April to October, crowds gather to watch the bats take off into the night sky. These bats, called Mexican free-tailed bats, may fly in erratic patterns, but they are far from clumsy. Using a system called echolocation, bats emit high-pitched sounds that bounce off objects to help them navigate and catch insects in total darkness. Bats are one of the most diverse and unusual groups in the animal kingdom. From having massive wingspans to being tiny cave dwellers, their shapes, sounds and behaviours reflect an incredible range of adaptations found nowhere else in nature. Now let's take a look at the vocabulary for this paragraph. Feel free to pause the video now to allow you the time to preview the language used. Now that we have reviewed the vocabulary we may need for the paragraph, let's begin. Let's learn more about the different species of bats. Bats are the only mammals that can truly fly. There are about 1,000 species of bats and they make up about one-fourth of all mammal species on Earth. Some, like the flying fox, have wingspans up to five feet, while others, like the Philippine bamboo bat, are small enough to fit in your hand. Bats typically rest upside down, and many have distinctive features like leaf-shaped noses or oversized ears. In some places, bat colonies can grow to include over 100 million individuals. For centuries, bats have lived under a cloud of fear. But science tells a different story. With advanced sensory tools and remarkable intelligence, Bats help inspire technologies that shape the modern world. Now let's take a look at the vocabulary for this paragraph. Feel free to pause the video now to allow you the time to preview the language used. Now that we have reviewed the vocabulary we may need for the paragraph, let's begin. Let's see how bats have evolved from inspiring fear to inspiring technological advances. Unfortunately, bats have long suffered from misunderstanding and superstition. People often associate them with scary stories or assume they are dangerous. In truth, most bats are neither blind nor frightening. Their sophisticated system of echolocation allow bats to hunt and fly. Scientists have even studied bats to develop modern tools, such as sonar and ultrasound, both of which are now used in medicine and technology. Bats might be small but their role in global ecosystems is enormous. They protect crops, spread seeds, and keep insect populations in check. Even their waste has value, helping plants grow and farmers thrive. Now let's take a look at the vocabulary for this paragraph. Feel free to pause the video now to allow you the time to preview the language used. Now that we have reviewed the vocabulary we may need for the paragraph, let's begin. Let's see how the relationship between bats and humans has changed. 
Bats are incredibly helpful to humans. Many are voracious insect eaters, consuming pests like mosquitoes and moths that damage crops. This makes bats essential partners in agriculture. Others help disperse seeds or pollinate flowering plants, especially in tropical environments. And their droppings, known as guano, are full of nutrients and used as a natural fertilizer. Although guano was once mined for profit in Carlsbad caverns, that practice was banned to help preserve the fragile cave system and create a pristine cave environment. With new understanding comes new responsibility. Conservationists now work to protect bats and their habitats, not out of fear, but out of respect. These efforts reveal just how essential bats are to life on Earth. Now, let's take a look at the vocabulary for this paragraph. Feel free to pause the video now to allow you the time to preview the language used. Now that we have reviewed the vocabulary we may need for the paragraph, let's begin. Let's see how conservationists have helped to protect Carlsbad caverns over the years. Thanks to the work of conservationists, Carlsbad Caverns and its bat population are now protected. Organizations continue to monitor the caves and prevent defacement of the rock formations. When we look past fear and superstition and examine bats through science, we can see that they are vital to both ecosystems and human industries. Instead of being feared, Bats should be recognized for their ecological value, unique behaviors, and contributions to science. Now that we have completed the passage together, we will move on to some multiple choice reading comprehension questions. These will not be answered to allow you to complete the exercise yourself, which is linked in the description below. You don't need to worry about whether your answer is right or wrong. The program is coded to accept the correct answer only. Let's quickly go through the navigation tools. We have the back button here that takes us to the previous page. We have the next button here that takes us to the next question. And we have the skip button here which is the one with the circle around it. It will allow you to skip over any questions you may have already answered if you need to go back and reread the passage. Question 1. Misinterpretation and Significance This question asks you to think about why the author highlights a specific moment in the story. Don't just look at what happened, ask what it represents. You'll need to connect that moment to bigger themes and ideas in the passage, such as misunderstanding or discovery. Question 2. Evaluating function of vocabulary. Echolocation versus sonar. This question asks you to compare two key terms used in the passage. Look closely at how each is defined and applied. Think about their origin, purpose, and what the author wants you to understand about the difference between natural abilities and human-made tools. Question 3. Analyzing purpose. Guano and ecological ethics. This question asks you to examine why the author included a specific detail. Instead of focusing on facts alone, ask yourself what the example of guano mining tells us about changing values, especially when it comes to how people treat nature and wildlife. 
Question 4. Synthesis, Superstition, Science, and Public Perception This question asks you to connect two contrasting ideas, fear and understanding. You'll need to think about how the author uses both to influence the reader's view of bats. Consider how contrasting emotions and technologies work together to change perception. Question 5. Inference, Conservation and Value Systems This question asks you to infer what scientists and conservationists value most about bats. Look beyond what bats do and focus on what those actions reveal. You'll need to choose the answer that captures both their environmental and scientific importance. Our last section is where you can practice your ability to summarize what you have read. My suggestion is to think about the main points of the passage and to consider reflecting on the content of the multiple choice questions. Here, you can type your summary into the text box provided. When you are finished, hit the submit button and another button will appear. This button allows you to see an example answer so that you can compare your writing with a sample. Next, read all the way down to where a continue button will take you to the final page. In this lesson, we explored how bats are not mysterious or frightening creatures, but intelligent, valuable mammals with a key role in ecosystems. Through this non-fiction text, we practiced more than reading. We studied how structure, vocabulary, and facts work together to shape meaning. Words like echolocation and voracious helped us expand our scientific vocabulary, while examples of conservation efforts showed how language connects to real-world action. Thanks for reading with me. Be sure to like, subscribe, or both, to let me know if you would like to see more of this material. See you next time.